A Thunderdome Boxing Talk, Anthony here. Alright, uh, right off the bat, I want to start off this video with kind of quoting Sergey Kovalev. Uh, Adonis Stevenson is a piece of shit. And not just for what, you know, he went to prison for. Uh, I'm talking strictly boxing shit. You know, he, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, listen to this. Listen to this, right? The WBC heavyweight champion, Adonis, light heavyweight champion, Adonis Stevenson, is still interested in facing countryman Jean Pascal, but only if Pascal works his way up the ladder with the official rankings. Now, if you don't know, he's already blatantly ducked uh, Pascal before. All right, and now this is his latest attempt to duck him again. All right. And first of all, all right, hold on, hold on. Pascal was the mandatory challenger for much of last year, but the two sides were unable to reach a financial agreement. That's a very uh, similar theme with all these Heyman fighters versus non-Heyman fighters, isn't it? For some reason, I've been talking about this a lot in videos, and not on purpose, it just happens. When you bring up a, a Heyman fighter and a non-Heyman fighter, it's always that they can never come to a financial agreement. Um, you know, Deontay Wilder, Povetkin, that video was one that was exactly the same, right? Sergey Kovalev and Adonis Stevenson, exactly the same, right? You know, so look, <clears throat> he was the he was the mandatory challenger for much of last year, but the two sides were un unable to reach a financial agreement. Pascal walked away from his mandatory spot and accepted a fight with WBA, IBF, and WBO champion Sergey Kovalev, who won their March bout by knockout. Look, he was the mandatory for Pascal. Couldn't get a fight with him. Uh, Kovalev instantly got the fight done. Um, Pascal now is ranked at fifth in the WBC ratings, but likely heading to a rematch with Kovalev in early 2016. If he wants, no, this is a this is a Stevenson quote. All right. If he wants to compete against me, he will have to be the mandatory challenger. He gave up his seat, which would have allowed him to face me. Well, no, he was the mandatory challenger, and he still couldn't face you. All right. I will not give him a shot. Let him follow the same steps as everyone else who is aspiring to become number one. I had to do it myself. Huh. Nobody gave me a shot to help me get to where I am. Really? Really? No one fucking helped you? Uh, I mean, come on. Come on. You know, Heyman, um, well, first of all, Heyman wasn't there from the jump, but, <clears throat> you know, he had major help from Yvonne Michelle. Uh, I mean, come on, how do you think they got the fight? Yeah, he had to work his way up the rankings, but it's, you know, it was, uh, uh the division was kind of working its way through, and they needed a new name, and he was coming through busting heads, so that was a fight that would sell, so they picked it. So he got his shot. Someone gave him his shot. Um... Meanwhile, Stevenson, 26-1, and one, will defend his title against Tommy Carpency, 25-4-1, with only 14 knockouts in Toronto on September 11th. Uh, look, he said Pascal, he said, you know, the only way you can fight me is to be my mandatory. When, when has he fought his mandatories? What, you know, what, uh, come on now. I mean, come on. Much of last year, it was Pascal. He wasn't fighting him. Wasn't fighting the number one guy. Uh, oh, my God. I can't even remember who he fought. Um, and that's how bad 
the opponents were. Um, yeah, I can't even remember their names, man. You know, terrible. Now he's fighting Carpency. Yeah, Carpency, you know, I'm sure he's the, 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 the number one guy in the, the, the light heavyweight division that deserves the shot the most, right? Um, as far as Kovalev, he is still in place as the mandatory challenger to Stevenson's belt. I mean, right there, some more bullshit, all right? Uh, you know, to fight me, you have to be my mandatory. Well, guess what? Kovalev's your mandatory, you know, but you ain't fighting him, are you? Are you ducking another guy? You're ducking Pascal. You're ducking Kovalev. You ducked an old man and Bernard Hopkins. I mean, give me a break, man. He's ducking everybody but 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 cans. You know, it's terrible. Only the dude can don't even have a puncher's chance. He has 14 knockouts in 25 fights. You know what I'm saying? As far as Kovalev, he's still in place as the mandatory challenger to Stevenson's belt. Kovalev and his promoters walked away from a purse bid when it became evident that Stevenson's side would win and Kovalev would have to fight off of HBO, which he couldn't do. Very few people are aware, this is a Stevenson quote, very few people are aware in Quebec, but Kovalev and his team dropped the purse bid to focus on the contract with HBO. <clears throat> yes, you don't have a contract with any network. I don't like fighters having contracts with networks because then the whole Manny and Floyd thing, can they can use it as an excuse and things like that. <sighs> Stevenson doesn't have a contract. He's not tied down to Showtime. He's not tied down to NBC. He's tied down to nothing but Al Heyman. All right? Al Heyman is the reason that Pascal isn't fighting uh, um, Adonna Stevenson. Why? Because Pascal might win, and then Kovalev gets to beat Pascal for the lineal championship. Um... He won't fight Kovalev. Why? Because Kovalev will beat Stevenson and become the lineal light heavyweight champion and have that WBC belt. I mean, the WBC feels so bad, they gave um, Kovalev the WBC diamond belt for light heavyweight. I mean, they know what's going on. Everyone knows what's going on. You're fucking blind, or you're lying to yourself if you don't want to admit it. Um... Look at all these fights right here that Heyman is blocking. Alright. People love to shit on people who do in-house fights and then block the fights the fans want. Um, <clears throat> I remember Aram getting it every single day. <clears throat> Aram's blocking the fight. He's doing in-house fights. He's blocking the fight. He's doing in-house fights. How come when Heyman does it, no one says a fucking peep? You know, I do. Uh, a couple other people, but out, out of the, you know, whole lot, there's maybe 20%. Um, look, he's blocking the Stevenson-Pascal fight. He's blocking the Stevenson-Kovalev um, fight. Chalemba is going to be coming up uh, and might become his number one contender. Chances are he's going to block that fight, too. I mean, you know, what the fuck? Uh, this is insane. You know, I've never seen... Yeah. He's trying to block the Deontay Wilder fight. I mean, you know, uh, with, with Povetkin. I mean, come on, man. The dude is putting on nothing but shitty in-house fights, I might add. Um, you know, it's not even like every once in a while we get a, a good one. But they're never the ones we ask for. You know, we just get told that these are the fights. And, hey, because we're boxing fans, we're like, hey, I'm going to watch it. You know, I want to see what will happen, even though we already know 90% uh, of the time. <laughs> You know, it, like I said, man, it's Al Heyman versus everyone else. You know, the 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 Quillen Gennady Golovkin fight. He's blocking that. Quillen versus Korobov. 
<clears throat> he blocked that fight. I mean, the list is endless. It's endless. Um, name a fight between two fighters you want. What's the reason? What's the reason it can't happen? Al Heyman. You know. You got K2 putting their guy up against, uh, you know, Golden Boy's guy. And then if they get past that guy, they're hoping to put him up against their best fighter, Canelo Alvarez. Their best, you know, middleweight, junior middleweight. They're working together. They're taking chances. Uh, Al Heyman's the only one that won't work with no one, won't take any chances, you know. And I don't even know why he cares about Adonis Stevenson. I mean, I guess he's probably um, going to feed Adonis Stevenson to Beater Beef and then just, you know, let Beater Beef beat the shit out of guys like Tommy Carpency for fucking years. Just like we're seeing here, man. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Pascal will have to earn his shot. You won't fight your mandatory now. What makes us think that you would ever fight a mandatory unless somehow it's an Al Heyman guy? If the number one contender is Al Heyman guy, oh, that fight will happen. You know, that fight will happen for sure. But, you know, this is insane, man. Tommy Carpency. Yeah, yeah, he's a much better pick than Pascal was. Um, now I know Pascal, you know, whatever, but no. Kovalev? You could take Kovalev. No, not at all. It's ridiculous. It, it seriously is. Uh, this Al Heyman shit is getting out of control. You know, he's basically holding this title hostage. Because what, what uh, main events is Hagat Shalemba. And he is positioning himself to be the number one contender for the WBC. And if he is, you know, eventually Adonis has to fight him. What's going to happen? You know, first of all, will Adonis even fight him? Because if Adonis fights him and Chalemba wins, well, it's Chalemba Kovalev immediately. And then Kovalev got all the belts and the lineal championship. I think they would not do the fight. They'll find a way around the fight. You know, they really will. Uh, they'll just keep pushing it off, pushing it off. But the thing is, main events don't give a fuck about that purse bid because Chalemba don't have an HBO contract. So Chalemba can just go fight wherever. He's going to have all the cards stacked against him. He's kind of going to have to knock uh, Adonis out. But it's possible. You know, we've seen Stevenson hurt by lesser punchers. Um... Man, Stevenson's really, and, 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 you know, he said, um, oh, by the way, he also said, if Al Heyman says fight Kovalev, no problem, then clearly it's Al Heyman blocking the fight, you know, because he's only doing what Al Heyman says. If Al Heyman says fight Kovalev, okay, I'll fight Kovalev. If I, you know, Kovalev's my mandatory, but we're not going to fight. Why? Because Al Heyman said no. I mean, come on. Come on, man. Uh, you think Al's ever going to say yes? No. No. And he's even trying some fucking uh, shady slimeball shit to get um, Beater Beave and uh, Kovalev into a purse bid. And trying to get, uh, um, Kovalev to have to drop, to have to vacate his IBF strap because he's tied down to HBO and Beater B Vision. And, you know, that, uh, Heyman's war chest will win the bid and not put it on HBO. I mean, Kovalev's the fucking champ. He's the champ. And Al Heyman is fucking this whole sport up. If you can't see it and you can't like, understand that this guy needs to be gone, 
I mean, he, he's causing so much trouble blocking all the big fights, trying to sneak titles away from people without actually, you know, fighting them for it. I mean, it's pathetic, man. I can't stand it. I can't stand the dude. I can't stand the dude. Um, you know, and if you don't know what I mean by that, you know, um, Beater Beef is going to be the IBF mandatory. Kovalev is going to have to fight him for his IBF strap. Um, they're not going to be able to come to, you know, a financial agreement. <sighs> and then it's going to go to purse bid. And, you know, they can't go through with the purse bid because Heyman's going to win and take the fight off of HBO. And he'll have to give the title up. You know, so we won't even get to see Beater Beaven and Kovalev. You know, uh, only way we possibly will is if uh, Beater Beaven's team uh, really steps up and says, no, no, Heyman, no. We're, we're fighting Kovalev for all the belts. Not just the IBF, all the belts. Um, maybe that'll happen, you know, we, with the way it's going now, I doubt it, I doubt it, because you can tell, they would have just took the, the, the Kovalev fight when they had it at 50-50, they were willing to split everything 50-50, purse, promotion, do it in Russia, um, put all the titles on the line, and they said, no, we'll, we'll wait until we're the IBF mandatory. So you can tell there's something sneaky going on there. You know, and you have to see what this guy is doing. You have to see that he is blocking all the best fights. All the fights we want that he has a part of, he's blocking them. And all the fights that... All the fighters that he has that we want to see fight each other, they're not. Uh, what What is this dude in the sport for? He's here for something. It's not for the betterment of the sport. Uh, he doesn't care about the fight fans. Like I said, he doesn't care about giving us the fights we want. He's here to somehow, you know... Um, I look at it as... And we always hear, you know, he's paying these fighters more than everyone else, but that's because he gets a percentage of that, and he's not paying them out of his money. He's paying them out of the Waddell and Reed's four hundred million. So if he pays, say Thurman, a million, he gets a hundred and fifty grand. And everyone on that card, he pays ridiculous amounts of money because he's getting fifteen percent off every one of them. All right, so it's like he's actually just doing this. Until all that money runs out, and then he basically just took over 15% of that $400 million. And then he's just going to dip, leave the sport, um, leave the fighters. You know, they're not going to be built up properly. They're going to be ranked high, and then someone else is going to snatch them up maybe and put them in tough, and they'll probably get their brains beat in because they weren't, you know, brought up properly. Yeah, it's it's crazy, man. Let me know what you think about this whole situation and the Beater Beave and Kovalev, the Adonis ducking everybody. Let me know what you think, man. Thunder don't box and talk peace.